show you guys exactly uh, what exercises you guys will be performing and also different levels in which you can perform them. Using two different types of equipment, dumbbells and barbells. Alright, so our first exercise, as you guys may already know, my first exercise is the squat with the overhead press, all right? I'm gonna show you guys with the dumbbells first and foremost, just a couple things to keep in mind, especially your squat form. Once you guys are sitting back, you guys wanna sit those hips back, keep that chest lifted, all right? Keep those shoulders back, all right? Just a regular squat will look like this, all right? I'll show you guys right here now. All right, we're adding the overhead press for the compound movement of upper and lower body, all right? So as you guys go down, you guys want those elbows right here. Weights right above your shoulders, all right? You guys are going out to that squat. And simultaneously, as you go up from that squat, you guys are going to press up to that overhead press, all right? All right. So this is the basic level right here. If you guys want to decrease it a little bit, feel free to go one at a time. All right? A little less intensity right here. Feel free to go no dumbbells at all if you guys need to, all right? Um, just a couple things to keep in mind. Um, breathing. So on the way down, Find yourself breathing in all the way up. Find yourself pushing out, all right? So in, in, out, all right? So you guys, this is the dumbbell same exact thing. You're forced to do a bilateral movement with your arms, all right? So once you guys squat it down and push it up, all right, of course you're forced to just use both arms. All right, guys, remember that breathing as well. All right, our next exercise is gonna be that calf raise with the bicep curl. Same thing pretty much as the squat with the overhead press, just different movements, all right? So once you guys, you guys will come up on those calf muscles and simultaneously, you guys with the bicep curls, all right? You guys will feel yourself come forward a little bit more, use that core to stay, to stay balanced, all right? Feel free to go one at a time, all right? And just keep working throughout that 30 to 45 seconds, all right? The breathing is in on the way down, out on the way up. We're going to relax those muscles as we use them, all right? The last, the last exercise for the first combo is going to be that balance row. All right, I'm going to show you guys this with our body bar real quick. All right, so you guys may see on the uh, document that it automatically says go into a balance row. However, that's not where you have to start, all right? You guys can feel free to have those feet onto the ground. If it feels more comfortable, it's still a nice little challenge. All right, you guys can get a nice little row. All right, bring those elbows up. Feel the little shoulder blades come together. All right, if you guys want to get into a little bit more, I'm going to show you guys with the dumbbells real quick. All right, I'm going to show you guys from the front and also to the side. All right, so I'm balanced right here just on my right leg, and I'm rolling those dumbbells back. Feel those shoulder blades come together. Great right, job. Triceps are going up into the air. All right, I'm going to show you guys from the side. Great job. Nice continuous breathing right here. All right. That will complete our first set of exercises. Guys, we're going to transition into our second combo. All right, guys. Now we're going to transition into our second combo. Our first move is that push to open up. All right. So level one, you guys will be using your knees. All right. I'm going to show you guys. Literally in that push-up position, you guys are just going to open it up on each side. Level one. Level two, add that push up, and then open up. All right, same thing on the other side. All right, level three, guys, you guys can take those dumbbells. Still be on your knees, and just roll it out, all right? All right, and then the more advanced levels will, of course, be without your knees, all right? So open it up on each side. And that push up. Level two without your knees. All right. Level three without, without your knees would be adding those rows after that push up. All right. Breathing in on the way down, out on the way up. Row it. If you want to do both, go ahead. Back down. Breathing out on the way up. All right. We're going to take it to our next exercise. All right, so our second exercise of our second combo is gonna be mountain climbers. Level one, guys, you guys are just gonna be on in plank position, all right? This is level one right here, all right? Level two, get those feet moving one at a time at your own pace towards your chest, all right? I'm gonna show you guys from the side. 
just like this. Take it at your own little pace. All right, so this is still level two. It's just at your own pace, all right? Level three, guys, you guys can feel free to go opposite knee to opposite elbow. And if you guys want to, you guys can bring it back to that chest movement for level four and add shoulder taps, all right? Here goes level three. I'm gonna show you guys from the straight arm view. All right, opposite elbow, opposite knee. And then level four will be shoulder taps with those knees coming towards that chest, all right? Make sure you guys are continuously breathing, keeping those muscles relaxed right there, all right? We're gonna transition into our third exercise of our second combo, all right? It's gonna be supine overhead raises. On the document, you guys will see that the guy is on a bench. You don't necessarily have to be on a bench, all right? I'm gonna show you guys what you can do. <laughs> this workout was made for dumbbells only, but nevertheless, if you guys wanna use the body bar, Go for it, all right? Or you can do both and switch it up, all right? Here we go. So supine, we're gonna be laying on our back, head towards the ceiling, all right? We're gonna start right here with that bar, and we're literally just going above our head. Here goes level one right here. Keeping that core tight, make sure you guys are breathing. In on the way back towards the ground, out on the way back to neutral, all right? If you guys wanna make it a little bit harder right here, Feel free to throw those legs into the air at a nice angle that challenges your core, all right? So whether that's 45 degrees, 85 degrees, or 25 degrees, it doesn't matter, all right? Challenge that core however you guys feel appropriate, all right? I'm gonna show you guys from the side now. And remember that breathing is very important, all right? So my legs are, I'm gonna choose level two right here, challenge my core a little bit, breathing in on the way back, out on the way up. Great job. It would be the same thing with the, uh, with the dumbbells. All right, you guys will have to do bilateral, which is both arms at the same time. All right. Keep it going, guys. We're gonna keep it moving. All right, guys. Now we're gonna transition into our first exercise of our third combo. All right, you guys can see. Pretty basic, I'm just gonna run through it. All right, there's no other way. To progress this, we're gonna take it to a front raise. You guys are gonna be breathing out on the way up, and then in on the way down, and take it to that side raise, out on the way up, and on the way down, all right? Challenge yourselves a little bit more, take it slow, all right? That breathing still stays the same. It matches the pace of the work that you are putting in, all right? So if I'm gonna take it up slow, I'm gonna be exhaling slowly. Have fun with that one. Transitioning. Now we're going to transition into our second exercise of our third combo. All right. We got that squat. We got that squat to front jab, squat to side jab, and then squat to a hook. All right. All right I'm gonna show you guys this real quick with the dumbbells before you guys get started. All right. So we're gonna take it to a nice little squat position. Find yourself getting really low to the ground. Throw in two. And if you guys want to change it up, go for it, all right? Have some fun with this one. I have 10 pound weights in my hands, all right? And I'm getting some pretty good work. All right, notice these hooks. Elbows coming up to shoulder height. Great job. Jabs are forward. Notice me pivoting on my ankles, all right? So if I'm, if I'm taking a nice little side jab with the right hand, I'm pivoting that right ankle, all right? Same thing with the front jab. Same thing with the hook. All right, guys, have fun with that one. It's a good amount of work. You guys want to make sure that last 10 seconds, you guys are as low as, as, low as you were in that squat as when you began, all right? We're going to take it to our last exercise of our third set. Hopefully, you guys are almost tired by now. All right, completing your workout. It's a nice little burpee, all right? This is a, this is a mixture between a strength move and a cardio move. All right, you're going to get that heart rate up. And keep working, all right, guys? So level one, feel free to just throw those hands up to the air. Come up on those calves if you want to. Find your way down to the ground to the push-up position. Step those feet back. If you want to do a push-up, go for it, all right? Bring those feet back. Right back up towards the sky, all right? All right, 
for the level twos and above those who want to get a little funky with it. All we're gonna do is a nice little, uh, nice little jump. And we're gonna add two jumps actually. We're gonna add one at the beginning. We're gonna try this into our push up. Throw those feet back if you want to. All right, a couple ways you can step back. Do that push up if you like. And then squat jump, all right? I'm gonna run through it. All right, guys, there goes your burger, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed that. We're gonna take it to core in just a second.